welcome to Kane's workshop, the last location of the Pele quest line. So the daughters, they escaped with the sphere, divine sphere. So now we are here to seek Kane's help to get it back. The daughters are playing with the sphere like a ball. Kane is the wise god, so hopefully he will help us. This is not that costly, 1.5 million energy, which is less than the average uh, energy requirement of Pale Quest line. So that's where we are headed. So let's go on. 739 tiles average sized as well. That's the way to go. Let me check out the house first. Or maybe this was the way to go. Okay, that is a funny looking card. But he has found the solution. All he needs is a toy. Kites for the daughters and for the kites we will need some raw materials it seems. Three tree trunks from the mountain, two finest fabrics from village into the waterfall, four strings and two ropes. Okay. Now let me go back and explore the area which I left behind. Okay, this was just an extra, there was just nothing here. So the way we are headed is to the right side, out from the other door of that house. So those are the three places where we will find those things. Let me just add to the one closest to the key. We have to pull it down so we can go from the other side. 
I wonder if we have to place these somewhere. There is a possibility of a bonus there. Let me see what we have here, then we will figure that out. Hmm, it looks like this is the ending screen and not something to find uh, the materials for making the kites. Now for the bonus, there are some bones here and I've checked there are three of them. So it very well, there's a good chance of it being a bonus. Turns out that is not a bonus. Is there anything else that could be a bonus? Nope. I don't think so. Going back. North and south are the two places we are yet to explore. I guess we can find some logs here. Maybe up there. fabric in exchange of paint and the paint is somewhere in the cellar itself we don't have to go search in the town So we have a mirror puzzle here. Hmm, we need the ropes to tie to that boulder. Here's the paint that we need. Okay, let's just start with the puzzle. Not sure where the ropes are. First one activated. this one out hmm, what else can we do I will have to activate this lower one first let's put this back in place okay now that this kit is open I suppose we cannot turn this yet we will need some more mirrors i guess uh no actually not because we can use that fixed mirror hmm, but i will need this one 
which I can actually take but this one instead uh, no I will not be able to get that out mm, so what else can we do oh wait we have a path from down there so we can actually do that opened up now I will need several mirrors in this right side section we can start with this but do I have enough mirrors that out yes we probably do if we interrupt the light here then we can take this down there one last left and for that I will have to completely change the course I will have to use this lane close at least hmm, out of energy but I can always eat as much food as I like there's the red paint but we still don't know where the ropes are um, maybe not here we will have to come back later to get them so for now let's just go back Okay, here's your red paint and thanks for the fabric. This is the house that I have to remember. It's the rightmost one. Now let's find those ropes somewhere. signs of the ropes so we might as well have to get them from the other part of the town that's the only part that we have not explored yet strings so we indeed want to play since that's what we are looking for drag the rock to the place marked with the red cross and it should not touch the flowers and shells on the way okay 
so that button is activated at the end and we have to drag it over the land oh wait so it's Dicky who is not supposed to touch the flowers and shells I thought Dicky was okay and the stone should not touch but that's fine we can manage without Dicky touching them as well there we go well that's only the first part we are yet to do more can see at least three more sets and we needed only two strings so the other two strings are probably for that house that we had checked earlier let's continue with the game Okay, I know the rules. There's the red mark. And these are really interesting puzzles. So let's take it to the left. And we will have to pull it, not push. There's no way I can proceed without touching the blue shells at least. So I'm not sure if that is legally allowed. I am probably going to read the instructions again if they mention the color of the shells. No, but it doesn't mention any color. So how do I get there? Okay, I actually found a way. There is this uh, route here and I thought that was not walkable but it is walkable and I actually have to pull it. I mean pushing will not help. I have to do something about that but I guess we can still proceed. Then we can step back, um, take a step back and that's how you do it that involved some thought i'm loving it let's proceed to the next set Pull it in. Not sure how I can. Oh, I actually can. Oh, no, 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 no. Stepped at the wrong place. Never mind. We anyway had to take that path to be able to pull that. So now we can only take it till here. From there we will have to change the lane and now pull or push, I guess push it is. Oh wait, what did I do? I mistakenly tapped the wrong tile and Dicky just worked over there. Erasing of the entire progress. Okay, let's start again. I remember the moves now, so I don't have to think a lot about that. Careful. 
fuder. And there we go. So that's another set complete. And that's the third string out of the two required. Technically only two are required but two are for some bonus. Okay, the last one, the biggest one, and is it the hardest one as well? Let's find out. Now I will have to pull this, not push. So, okay, I messed up. I was not supposed to tap that tile, but anyway. Um, I will have to start by pushing it in. So, up we go, we have to convert the push into pull up to here from there we push and push up again they are headed upwards only so taking it up to here is not a problem have to pull it. Oh no, Dickie went the other way. I kind of expected him to go below the stone but I forgot that I will have to manually do it. So starting off again. First up to change the direction. Down from there. Push it all the way up. Oh, I was about to make the mistake again. I have to manually do it. Because if I just tap on the destination tile, Diggy will go walk over those shells and flowers. Pull it in. Push, pull, and we are safe. There we go. The last puzzle completed successfully. So, hey kids, we beat you. And they have out of strings, so the game has ended. Okay, interesting guy. He wants to be a dinosaur. So hopefully no tiles missed in all those shells and flowers, we can go back. We are yet to explore this side. They should have the last thing that's missing and I don't remember the names of the things now. I think these were the ropes that were expected not the strings I mean for that bonus Okay, we can actually walk off the deck here I was looking for a space Two, three, four. So I think we actually required 4 strings and 2 ropes. We have got 2 extra ropes which we can use for the bonus. Uh, all the requirements I guess are done. 
only 20 tiles left so probably done I am going to go for the bonus hut first in the northern part this was it the rightmost one in the cellar Okay, we will be able to pull that stone now. So pull it two spaces and we have a room from the right side to get to the bonus. Which is a lot of barrels and two sapphires. That's pretty nice bonus. Those resources and walnuts which indirectly are uh, energy I think 9000 hmm. so even with that done all we have to do is return the things we have collected there's a mist tile here I had noticed it initially but I thought that I'll just go back later so hopefully no other mistiles. Let's return the things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Give guides to the daughters and then take the spheres. So there's the guides, and I know exactly where the daughters are to the right side, and that's also where the remaining tiles are. Clearly, he's showing us the way, so we don't have to technically find them. There's the daughters and only five tiles. I needed six tiles. No, eight tiles and three of them are up there. Okay, the daughters I went to the top of the mountain and left their ball, which means our divine sphere. So that completes the Pele quest line. I think we have to talk to one of the cars to actually complete it. So let's see the quest area. That's right, it's in the city of cars. Here's where we conclude the quest line of Pele. Do subscribe to the channel if you love the videos and see you in the next quest line. By the way, this rotating thing, it should be a decoration which is only for the PC players. Not sure why it shows in mobile, but ignore that. So, thank you for watching and see you in the next quests.